In today's video, we're going to be going over the addition rules of probability, and specifically, we are going to be going over the differences between mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events, as well as going over which addition rule to use when it comes to the two events. So if this is something you struggle with, keep watching. Let's say we had to find the probability of event A or event B. Now in general, when we see the keyword or in mathematics, this indicates that we're going to use addition. And in the context of probability, whenever you see the keyword or, this means that we're going to be using our addition rules. Now there are actually two addition rules. And the rule that we use actually depends on the types of events that we're dealing with. Um, so I have the rules up on the screen, but I'm actually going to go into detail on what this, these rules mean and when to use which. So with that being said, let's go over these rules. So suppose we were to roll a fair die. We know that there's going to be six possibilities. And let's say we wanted to find the probability of rolling a one or a three. So before we calculate the probability of this, let's first determine what kind of events we're dealing with. So let's have event A equal to any die that's a 1, and let's have event B equal to any die that's a 3. So with event A, that contains one item, which consists of die 1, and with event B, that also contains one item, which consists of die 3. So let's say we were to roll a 1. Rolling a 1 is clearly not a 3, and if we were to roll a 3, rolling a 3 is clearly not a 1. So as you see, if we were to roll one or the other, events A and B cannot occur at the same time. And when the events are separate like this, we refer to these as mutually exclusive events. Now when it comes to calculating the probability of mutually exclusive events, we use the following formula where the probability of A or B is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. We also denote this in set notation with the following symbol that looks like a U, and this U symbol is what we call the union symbol. Um, and these are just two ways that we usually denote the probability of A or B, um, and oftentimes you'll see the second way denoted a lot, but both of these are equivalent to each other. So when it comes to calculating the probability of rolling A1 or A3, to find the probability of event A, we know that there's going to be one item, and we know that there's six total items, so the probability of A is going to be one out of six, and then the probability of B is also going to be one out of six, so since there's only one item in event B, and we know there are six total items, so probability of B is one out of six, so if we did one six plus one six, that would give us two sixths, and that would reduce to one third, and then one third as a percentage is about 33%. So there's a 33% chance of rolling a 1 or a 3. So let's say this time we wanted to find the probability of rolling an even number die or a prime number die. So once again, before we calculate this probability, let's figure out what kind of events are we dealing with. So let's have event A equal to any die that's even, and let's have event B equal to any die that's prime. With event A, that's going to contain three items, which consist of dice 2, 4, and 6. And with event B, that also contains three items, which consist of dice 2, 3, and 5. Now, notice with events A and B, they both contain die 2. So let's say we were to roll a 2. Basically, events A and B can occur at the same time because they share a common outcome. And when the events share a common outcome like this, where they can possibly occur at the same time, we refer to these as non-mutually exclusive events. Now, when it comes to calculating the probability of non-mutually exclusive events, we use the following formula, where the probability of A or B is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And in set notation, once again, we will denote it with the union symbol, and it'll be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus, and this upside down U symbol stands for the intersect symbol in set notation. And basically what P probability of A and B is, or the probability of A intersect B is, is those represent all the events that both A and B have in common, basically. Um, so when it comes to 
finding out what the probability of rolling an even or a prime number we know that for event a there's three items so that'll be a three out of six chance since we have six in total and then we would add that to the probability of b which would also be a three out of six chance since there's three items in event b now when it comes to the probability of a and b remember they have one item in common which is die two so that would just be a one out of six chance so we'll do three six plus three six minus one six and that would give us five six and five six as a percentage is about 83 percent so there's an 83 percent chance of rolling an even number die or a prime number die so as a quick recap of everything we went over Remember, in the context of probability, whenever we see the keyword or, this indicates that we're going to be using our addition rules of probability. And remember, there are two formulas that we use that depend on the types of events that we're dealing with. If we're dealing with mutually exclusive events, this means that we're dealing with two separate events that cannot occur at the same time. And to calculate the probability of mutually exclusive events, P of A or B is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now, if we're dealing with non-mutually exclusive events, this means that we're dealing with two events that share a common outcome and can possibly occur at the same time. So to calculate the probability of A or B, that will be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope this was helpful and take care.